All right, so here's a hint on how to do a Gauss's law problem when you have a charge density that is not a constant. So uh, in one of the homework problems this week, you have a situation where there's a um, <clears throat> point charge inside of a, of a spherical cavity, and then uh, within the thickness of the spherical shell, uh, you're told that the charge density is equal to um, some constant A divided by R, the distance uh, that you are from the center. So when you do Gauss's law to figure out what the electric field would be at this point, um, you have the math side of calculating the flux is the same as it always is. So you, you choose a spherical Gaussian surface at the point that you're interested in. So this would be at a distance R from the center. Um, you pick that, and so that you can say that this, uh, the flux is going to be equal to the electric field times the surface area of the, uh, of that Gaussian surface, that, that sphere. Now when you do the physics side, as we uh, term it, you're looking again for uh, the flux is equal to the enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. So now when you're looking at the enclosed charge, first of all you have to include this point charge in there. And then you have to say, how much charge do I have in this region between, and uh, I believe in the problem, this inner radius is given as lowercase a. So how much charge do I have between a and r? Well, you can't just, uh, so what we normally did was we took rho times the volume, but now you can't just uh, do that multiplication because uh, rho is changing as you go farther out. So in this case, we're going to have Q enclosed um, is going to be equal to, so you have the Q from the point charge, and then you're going to have to do an integral. So it's, the integral is going to be rho times the bit of volume integrated from where you first start having charge out to the farthest radius, which will be to the location of the um, Gaussian surface. Now this dV in spherical coordinates, dV is given by, um, you have a 4 pi r squared dr. And this 4 pi comes from uh, when you do the integral over uh, the angular part, so the going around uh, the surface area, but the, what we are really concerned with is doing the radial part. Right, so you could plug this in here, so you're going to end up with uh, having to do Q plus, you know, integral from A to R of whatever rho as a function of R is, so in this case that would be A over R, and then multiply that by R squared dr, and then another 4 pi, which is a constant. So that would give you the enclosed charge uh, which you can then uh, use in Gauss's law like we, we normally do. So, uh, Q is equal to rho times volume if rho is constant, but Q is equal to the integral of rho dV if rho is not constant. So for your homework this week, uh, you have to do a little bit uh, of calculus uh, for this problem.